Hello, welcome to the Simon Grishman service from Khurshid Global TV channel. Russian President Vladimir Putin told his Syrian counterpart Bashar al-Assad in a New Year's greeting that Russia will continue supporting Syria's efforts to defend its sovereignty, the Kremlin said on Saturday. Putin stressed that Russia would continue to render every assistance to Syria in the protection of state sovereignty, unity and territorial integrity in the promotion of a political settlement process as well as an efforts to restore the national economy, the Kremlin said. Earlier this month, Putin ordered the Russian forces in Syria to start withdrawing from the country, but said Russia would keep its Hamimim air base in Syria's Latakia province, as well as its naval facility at Tartus on a permanent basis. Russia first launched air strikes in Syria in September 2015 in its biggest Middle East intervention in decades, turning the tide of the conflict in Assad's favor. A Cairo criminal court sentenced former Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi and 19 others to three years in prison on Saturday and fined him two million Egyptian pounds on charges of insulting the judiciary. Others tried by the court in the same case, including leading Egyptian activist Allah Abdel Fattah and lawmaker and television presenter Tawfiq Okaha, were in a state giving fines ranging from 30,000 to 1 million Egyptian pounds. The verdicts can still be appealed. Morsi, democratically elected after Egypt's 2011 revolution, was overthrown in May 2013 by then-General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, now the president, following mass protests against his rule. He was immediately arrested and is now serving a 20-year sentence after being convicted of inciting the killing of protesters during demonstrations in 2012 and a 25-year sentence for spying for Qatar. The United States on Friday strongly condemned the arrest of peaceful protesters in Iran and urged all nations to publicly support the Iranian people and their demands for basic rights and an end to corruption, the U.S. State Department said in a statement. Demonstrators chanted anti-government slogans in several cities across Iran on Friday, Iranian news agencies and social media reports said. As price protests turned into the largest wave of demonstrations since nationwide pro-reforms and rest in 2009. Meanwhile, annual nationwide pro-government rallies were held in Iran on Saturday to mark the end of unrest, which shook the country in 2009. The state media reported, while local news agency and social media reports say that third day of protests had begun. A state television showed a rally in the capital Tehran and marchers carrying banners in support of Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei in Mashhad, Iran's second largest city. And Russia's Supreme Court on Saturday dismissed an appeal by Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny against a decision by the country's Central Election Commission to bar him from taking part in next year's presidential election. The commission this week barred Navalny from taking part in the March 18 vote because of a suspended prison sentence he said was trumped up. That was all from English News Service of Khurshid Global TV channel. Thank you for watching, guys. Wish you a good night. Bye.